Yeah, and you did that really easy thing that so many people do, not me, that dual serving couple thing. Yeah. What effect does that have? <laughs> I don't, honestly, you can barely cope with one serving person in our marriage. Uh, a thought of two is just bonkers. Is that, do you think that's what prompted you to leave? Um, well, I think that, I think that I, I was a shift worker as an air traffic controller as well, which came with its own challenges. Um, and um, my husband was um, serving away I can remember when I when the boys were five and two he went away for seven months and um, and we lived in the middle of Somerset in a lovely house that was um, was positioned to be halfway between his job in Bristol and mine in Yeovil and uh, all of a sudden he was at sea I was still in the middle of nowhere you know just literally on my own and um, and yeah so there have been some fairly bleak times and we, we've lived in some really random halfway houses as well there was one point where where we lived in Salisbury but neither of us worked there um, and we communicated through sort of post-its on a fridge and you know maybe you wouldn't see each other for a couple of days at a time <laughs> but uh, but it kind of worked it worked it was fine and um, you know to have a little bit of space and freedom for yourself especially before you have children is fine but you know it, it becomes a bit more like single parenting and trying to hold down a full-time job with your husband in a war zone it's yeah yeah not not perfect not ideal conditions I don't think no and it's it's crazy but it gives you a good skill set 